Okay, so let's look at the cap M for an entertainment company. Let's say that our entertainment company had right around $4 million in debt and $5 million in equity, and that their tax rate is right around 30%. What is their cap M? Or what is their cost of equity? It's the same thing either way. So let's start looking into our equation. What is the risk-free rate? Well, I didn't give you that because it changes all the time. So let's do some quick Googling. What is risk-free rate? We're gonna find out that at right now, just take our word on it, it's 0.72%. So that's our risk-free rate. So 0.72% plus beta. Okay, now it gets a little bit complicated. We have to find the beta of an entertainment company or just entertainment industry in general. So type in, what is the beta for an entertainment industry NYU? We get our huge list, we scroll down, and at this time in history right now, it's 1.33. Okay, so that's the beta for the industry. We wanna take the beta for our individual company, so what do we have to do? We have to leverage that beta. So we have to compare it using our leverage ratio and our tax shield in order to get the most accurate beta. So in order to leverage a beta, remember we have to do our leverage ratio, which is the total debt divided by total equity, which for us is 4 million divided by five or 0.8. Then we have to multiply that times one plus the tax shield. Now remember the tax shield is just one minus our tax rate. So one minus 30%, which was our tax rate, gives us 0.7. So one plus 0.7, times 0.8. That will help us leverage our beta. That ends up being 1.56. So 1.56, we multiply that times the beta for the industry, which was 1.33. And that gives us a leveraged beta of right around two. So we're gonna use two to make it easy math. So now we figured out two out of the three aspects for cap M, our risk-free rate and our beta, which we leverage because we're good analysts and we're not sloppy. Now all we have to do is find the market risk premium. All I'm gonna do is Google market risk premium. I'm gonna sign, okay, couldn't find anything. Let me look again. What is the current market risk premium? Okay, now I have some options. Now, right now in history, it's 4.5%. We're very close to that. So we're gonna use that number, 4.5%. So all we have to do now is just kind of finish our equation off. 0.72% plus two times 4.5%. Well, two times 4.5 is 9% plus 0.72%, our cost of equity is 9.72%. Boom, cap M is done. You've leveraged the beta, you've gone through the entire process of figuring out what the risk-free rate and what the market risk premium is, you're good to go. But that's only half the equation. Now we have to go on to cost of debt, which is way different than cost of equity, and in my opinion, a lot easier. So let's dive into that right now.